proclaims of job creations, many Zambians are still either being subjected to slavery at the hands of their employers or were still losing their jobs unceremoniously. The latest victims are employees of the University of Zambia from the Horticulture Department who risk losing their jobs if relevant authorities don't intervene. The workers allege that their employers have been deducting National Pension Scheme funds NAPSA, though with no man numbers, and that a check at NAPSA shows that there are no records for them there. We have not been given also pay slips from 2002, from 2002 up to now. You find that they deduct what is termed as NAPSA, a contribution to NAPSA. But when we went to NAPSA to confirm we are not recognized. Are, our names are not there. There's no such a contribution. We've been working from 2003. How are they going to give, to give us our benefits? Because we have worked and they have wasted our time. We've got families. Today when we go out, who are going to feed our... This is where we've been relying on. If we go out today, how are we going to, 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 to survive with the families? When we are crying for NAPSA, improve himself. Employer for Unza Council Diara promised us at the very office that he's going to give us a back our naps, but he's not doing that. We are still waiting for that. As at now, we are saying uh, we have to go for, for good. They add that management has refused to renew their contracts, which expire in December 2014. They have reversed it from one year, it's now six months. And now they are saying that. Uh, this six months is non-renewable. They want to do with, they want to do away with us completely. That's our cry. Why should it be like that? When we have worked for this institution for more than ten years. Efforts to get a comment from management proved futile at broadcast time, as their phones went unanswered. Pauline Ngozo, Movie TV News, Lusaka.